bit more mutter stories every year. I don't know where I can be. Um, if I just, if I thought I started it and I didn't, but um, it's getting a lot of noise. I mean, the Grave Retreat and Lee with Hayley, we're only having coke, um, they've just had something to eat. Um, and now I've got hiccups. Um, but yeah, um, I just wanted to do a video um, on the passing of Razor Ramon. Um, Razor was someone who I adored as a kid. Um, I, he was one of my idols and it's kind of a bit of a shock that he's gone. I never got to meet him. I did have a chance a couple of years ago when he was in Wales, but apparently he started being ill um, at the convention, so he left. So I never got to meet him, um, but he does seem like a really nice guy and for someone who was very kind and considerate. And yeah, he had his demons, but he thought he was just like a really, he just came across a really nice person and it was just his whole personality and his attitude that I like, um, the way he came out with uh, that swagger and when he would be like, um, a lot of things like, I ooze my cheese more and things like that and um, it's finishing me with the razor's edge and um, along with the shark shooter i would have loved to learn to have done that yeah, exactly. um, and yeah it's really sad that it's gone um i was going to do a um video a few days um, the other day when it actually was announced it passed um, I just, I tried and then my camera was cut out and um, things like that. I'm really sorry to do a lot of noise. Um, I just got to hear me okay. But Razor was an inspiration to a lot of people. And it was to me the fact that it was just this really fun <laughs> character. And even though I never got to meet him, I remember my first ever. I remember my first ever wrestling uh, show that was WWF, about uh, well, WWE WWE at the time, and Razor was there. And I walked when we were sat, me and my mom, it was at the GMEC, so it's now Manchester Central. And me and my mum, we were sat like right up. And when Razor came out, I was like, I'm going. And I ran straight down to the front. And the security guard, like, he would try to stop me. He's like, nope, you have, to, you have to have these certain tickets come down here. I'm like, it's Razor. I was like, I'm not past him. I was about 15. No, I was younger. I was 14, 14, 15. And I ran to the front. I put my hand out. And they just kind of like tapped my hand. And that's because I ever got to meet him. Like I said, I would have loved to meet him at Wales. But he wasn't well. So it was nobody's fault. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just kind of like really sad that he's no longer here and the circumstances of it, you know, it's, he fell um, the other week and he broke his hip and apparently there was a blood clot that had travelled and it caused him to have like three heart attacks straight after each other were very close together and yeah, it, my thoughts just got to his friends, his family, um, his rest, the wrestling family um, as well as biological one. You know, it is, it's so sad. But anyway, um, Ailey would like some desert dessert. Um, so I'm going to order back now. And yeah, we're just going to finish our drink, but really, it is just really cold. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to order some dessert. And then maybe I'll go on Lee. We'll have to see what it's like when we get out of here because when I left for uni this morning, it was really cold. Uh, no, it was nice. And when I came out of uni, it's been really cold. But anyway, for now, I'm going to say a few lots of talks about jelly talks. I'll give you a few minutes. Bye. See ya.